Hey everyone, I'm here with another video for you. Today I'm going to be making art journal pages to Taylor Swift's Midnight Songs. I've chosen a couple that I really like. I've listened to the album maybe like three times already and every time I've listened I've kind of just had some songs that stuck out to me just in different ways and they kind of give me ideas for art journal pages that I can make. So that's what I'm going to do today. I've got a new journal here. I've only done like half of one page so got a full journal here ready to go and also look at me go I have also um I have planned out some pages because I'm on the ball and I'm using my brain today so I have pages ready we're not just gonna go and just do this without a plan I'm ready to provide some really great inspiration for you guys for your pages so I'm ready to go let's let's get started so the first page I'm doing is for Karma, because that song is an absolute banger. Um, I've been using this, I literally can't think what this is called right now, but I think it's a protractor. And I'm making circles around my page. I don't really care like the distance in between or anything, I just want it to be like kind of as accurate as a circle as can be. But yeah, I don't really care about like the thickness of it, that doesn't really matter to me. I kind of want them to be kind of mismatched. And then I'm gonna fill them in with kind of like bright, um, like warmer colors because this song feels, it feels very like warm, but also kind of feels, it's like a revenge song, but like warm, warm tones to it. Okay, I've got all of my colors. I think I'm gonna start with watercolors just for like a lighter tone first. So first thing I need to do is erase kind of everything here because if you use watercolors, it will like seal it in. You can't get rid of the pencil marks. So we don't want that. But I've also penciled in where I'm going to put the lyrics just because for planning purposes. And yeah, so now I'm going to paint and we'll see where this goes. All right, here we go. I like how this turned out. I like with the watercolors, just kind of things like smooshing into each other. That's all I can say. I'm just gonna add the lyrics to this and then it'll be done. That's kind of the vibe that I get from this song as this page. That's all I have to say about it. There we go, my first page for Karma. Always remember to let things dry first before you add, before you write things. Just, I just don't have patience, but it's, it's okay. It's not too much of a mistake or a detail to point out, but if you won't, don't want that to happen, always make sure everything's dry before you continue on to your next step. But yeah, there's the page. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next song I'm gonna do is Antihero. I really wish I could play the songs while I make these pages, but of course, copyright issues and blah, blah, blah. So, but yeah, we're gonna do Antihero. I'm gonna make kind of these two people, but it's like the same person, of course. And, but I'm gonna make them like out of paper with collage and I'm kind of gonna scrap the arms. I'm just gonna have like their bodies and I'm gonna make like the eyes kind of bigger. I don't know, this is, this is the blueprint, but it's probably not gonna be like this in any way. Um, but this is the vibe that we're going for. So let's give it a try. Like, I kind of really want to emphasize like the eyes, but I want them like mismatched like this. And then this will be the first one. You'll, you'll understand, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> one thing I've really learned just as an artist is to trust the process because a lot of things that I do, I have no clue what I'm doing, but in the end, things work out. So just trust the process with this one, hopefully. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out, I'll just try something else. I just realized I probably should have done like the body first before the eyes, so I'm probably gonna have to redo the eyes. So I need this way bigger. Hold up. What am I doing? Because I want to have my writing in. Okay. 
I've totally revisited my eye situation. I want my two kind of eye people looking at each other. So I have to change my eyes. And I wanted them way bigger. So. Just one thing about me is I'm never going to take my art seriously. I'm, I'm here to practice and I'm here to try new things and experiment. Um, I had a comment on one of my TikToks that was like, I think I was just doodling and the comment was like, what is the purpose of this? And it felt so good because so many people kind of like commented and came to my rescue type of thing, but they were like, there doesn't have to be a purpose to art, you know, you can just practice, you can play, you can just try new things. And I'm just so glad that like the community and everything is like, art is for practice, art is for play. Art doesn't always have to be good. It doesn't always have to have like this huge purpose to it. So. I'm I'm going on a total side note, but do art for the fun of it. Don't always you don't always need to be perfect. Just do art to practice and have fun. Anyways, I'm continuing with this. So on here, I'm gonna write the lyrics, and I'm gonna cut this out and put it in the pages. So just catch my vibe and just continue watching. there's the first little one i might touch this up a little make it a little bit thicker but honestly it's it's not a big deal but now i'm gonna make it the same thing but just with opposite colors Lastly, I'm coming back because I know I might get fought about how like these lyrics are like a little bit wrong, but this is kind of from the bridge, okay? Because I know it's supposed to go, it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me, but also it doesn't fit nicely on this page. But second, in the bridge, she kind of sings it a little bit differently and there's a part where she's kind of like, it's me, hi, I'm the problem. So I know, okay, I know, please don't come and attack me and be like, the lyrics are wrong. No, they're not. The lyrics are my way, okay? Um, if you make your own page, do the lyrics your way, okay? I, I, I know, okay? I'm just letting you all, all know. I know. I know. Next page we're doing is for You're On Your Own Kid. This, this thumbnail sucks. I don't even know how to explain this, but what's gonna happen is, is that I'm gonna have a little guy right here. And then around it's gonna be like some big like chaos painting. Like, it's, yeah, it's chaos painting, but it's kind of just implying that like, there can be this big, beautiful creation, but at the end of the day, you're the only one who can make it. You're the only one that can do it. You're on your own kid. Does that make sense? It will make sense when you see it on here. So yes, let's get started. Now, if there's one thing that you need to learn about me as an artist, and I hope you do too, is that I love a good chaos painting. I love painting and not thinking too much about things. I love just letting, you know, things go. I don't want to think too much about it because, you know, that takes the way the fun of it. And also, I feel like you just get better results when you don't think too much about things. But the vibe for this is just kind of like, yeah, a beautiful creation chaos that somehow works basically my art style in a nutshell but my point to this piece is, is going to be to create lots of layers so right now i'm just kind of doing like a light layer of just kind of like a base coat and then we're going to add more and more and more onto it as we go um but this page it's giving it's giving sad buddies it's giving my kind of comics account that i do i like to draw kind of like these types of things so that's the vibe we're going for. I think I'm gonna add some oil pastels to this, kind of extra things. Um, probably finish off with 
some acrylic paint as well, kind of add some splatters, just, yeah, you know, fill it up as much as I can. I just really like doing pages like this, so. Another thing I always like to do, make sure you cover up things that you don't want to get paint on, but to just paint splatter all over your painting. Just doing this with some yellow. Kind of adds just like one extra kind of layer to it, makes things more fun. And last, I'm just gonna finish it off with some red. Going for that primary colors type of vibe. I really enjoy how this one turned out. Like, of course, there's little things that I can see that could have easily been fixed if I just had patience. But at the end of the day, this page fits my vibe. I love it. And it was a good time. So there's my pages, one for karma, one for anti-hero, and one for you're always on your own, kid. I really like how they all turned out. It was really fun to do. And yeah, I hope these gave you some inspiration for your own pages. Try it out, listen to music, make art journal pages from them. It's always a great thing to do if you're running low on ideas. But yeah, let me know if you try these out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.